got a whole pizza to himself. Well, immediately I come here and there's a guard standing at the gate. So I'm gonna have to recuperate myself a little bit here, try to hide the camera enough so this guy doesn't see me. I've been waiting to see this one just as long almost as I had waited to see Mother Ukraine. I've never seen this one in person myself yet though. Wow. This is wow. This is the Nuclear Research Institute in Kiev. see there it's got the artist's name and the year it was made 1974 I don't know this might be the most spectacular one I've seen in Ukraine I've seen a lot and there's a lot of really nice ones but this one the detail involved in this one is just next level next level detail in this one i wish the sun was shining on it though right now it's kind of at a dark time where the sun now just pops out on me but it's not facing towards the mosaic be a lot better if uh, there wasn't a bunch of cars whizzing by. I'm sure a lot of fender benders have happened here over the years. This is definitely Top three, my favorites here in Ukraine. Uh, two men working on the atom, and the atom splitting, shooting out power, energy from all sides. So I just had a little run in with the police. Two guys just came up to me, and uh, man, I shut the camera off at the wrong time there. Two guys came up to me and uh, wanted to look at my video, make sure I wasn't uh, taking film of the actual institute itself. So they didn't delete my footage because uh, I rewound it and showed them that I was just showing the mosaic. Yeah, you gotta watch it here in Ukraine. You, you gotta watch what you film and who you film. But um, luckily I had documents on me that show, you know, I'm legal here in Ukraine. So they, uh, they let me go. So one last look at the mosaic. How do you top that mosaic? There's hundreds and hundreds more, thousands more. I'm not sure how many, but a lot. There'll be much more mosaic hunter in the future. On to the next. It's a bus stop, a dreary looking bus stop. And I can't get a very good look at it from where I'm at right now. Got the taxi driver to drop me off at it, right under it. Worst place possible to see it. So here it is, a spaceship building. Built by the Soviets, of course. They built this kind of crazy stuff. Now it's seen better days. It's got the repair fence up, so hopefully they're doing something to it. But at one time, this was quite the building.
very futuristic. Some want to see this thing come down. It's a Soviet. It's right beside the Ocean Plaza Mall. Very, very big mall in the city. But buildings like this, I don't know. Just because they're Soviet made, <clears throat> doesn't mean they gotta come down. This building, uh, this one's worth saving. I'm just glad I got to see it. The spaceship building in Kiev. And always, always watch where you step in Ukraine. Here we are. This is the final thing I want to show you guys before I take out of here. This is the old medieval entrance to Kiev. I can't remember the year to be exact. I'll put it up on the screen right now. But that's the year this was reconstructed into the ideal of what they thought it looked like at the time. There's no concrete evidence exactly what she looked like. But this, something like this. The Golden Gate of Kiev. From here down to the river, we would have had walls, huge walls. And this? Man, this would have been something. I sometimes used to wonder when I saw castles and great walls of medieval cities, exactly how thick those walls are. Okay. Yeah, 1,000 years ago, that was the way in. During the golden age of the Kievian Rus. Scooters everywhere. That's why some are laying on their side right now, is because not everybody likes those scooters. That's Yaroslav the Wise. That's it. That's the video. See you next time.